Hello everyone, this is uh, David, Fairly Secret Music, and um, what I'm going to do here is kind of show you a Kevin Gilbert discography. Um, I'm, I'm just going to show the stuff that is still available at the Pop Plus One um, website, and all the stuff that the estate of Kevin Gilbert is been putting out. Um, sorry about that light in the background there or right here. Um, so we're going to start, uh, pretty much and go chronological. Uh, I was talking to a friend of mine, Chris yesterday, and he said, you know, I watched you do a bunch of unboxings and those are the videos that I really am interested in because they're educational. Uh, it shows information that um, I could use and you're helping people see what the product really is like. Um, I'm going to comment a little bit on the music that is in uh, this stuff, but there's a lot of it that I have yet to go through just because all of this, except for the thud three disc set, um, I just got two days ago. So, um, hopefully this is informative and helpful to somebody. And, uh, so let's start out with the no reason given CD. So technically my friend Ryan should be here to basically tell you everything about it, but because of COVID and stuff, he cannot be here. Um, but he is one of the hugest Kevin Gilbert fans that I have ever known in my entire life. And he is actually kind of the influence of me getting into Kevin Gilbert and just um, giving a few things lately that I wouldn't normally have s sought out on my own. Um, I did have Toy Matinee um, and the Thud CD before we were talking <clears throat> kind of more in depth about Kevin Gilbert. But so, uh, thank you, Ryan, for kind of leading me down this path. So what is NRG? NRG was, uh, Kevin Gilbert, Mickey Sori, and Jason Hubert or Hubbard. Um, this was basically when they were, uh, I, I want to say right after high school. I'm not sure what year. Um, let me see. Do, do, do. This was 84. So I'm not sure how old Kevin was at this time, but this has, um, five, nine tracks on it. There are extra bonus tracks on the one that you can listen to on YouTube. Um, which almost make up a whole album. It would be really cool to have those on an official CD, but uh, I believe the estate has said no, they're not going to do that. Um, but what you get on here is some amazing stuff. Uh, very, almost proggy. Um, just fantastic songs. The weird thing is, uh, the whole album starts out with morning light, which is a lot different than what the rest of the stuff is. Um, like wings of time starts out almost sounding like a rush song. Um, but it's fantastic. So I didn't really want to get into what is on the music. Um, because fans of Kevin Gilbert will already probably know um, actually fans of Kevin Gilbert will probably already have all of this. So all it is, is a sleeve with the CD. Um, not the best packaging, but, um, you know, it is better than not having it at all. I'm not sure what the price was on this. Um, but I've listened to this like four or five times in the last two days. And these songs are fantastic. My highlights are Morning Light and Wings of Time and When Strangers Part, 
which is the very last song. This drummer is amazing. I wish he would have done more stuff. I did a Google search, could not find anything else that he did. Um, the next thing is this giraffe box set, which they just came out with. Um, I'm not sure exactly the date it was released, but I know it was just recent. Um, this was when Kevin was, I believe, uh, working at studios and would record stuff after uh, the bands he was recording. And they released two albums. One was basically a studio project, and then one was a complete band. But what do you get in here? So it's a kind of a clamshell box. Well, it's kind of difficult to open. Um, you have to kind of shake it open. But it is really heavy cardboard, really nice. has a kind of textured feel on there um, because I'm a dork I kept what was in it which contains two CDs and an all-new DVD fully remastered in 2020 um, so again the CDs uh, they are in these paper sleeves or cardboard sleeves um, Gives you just the minimal information who was in the band at the time. So that's their second album, which is fantastic. Uh, I never realized how uh, similar to a Phil Collins tone uh, he had. Especially, uh, I think it was Waiting for the Rain was... No... I apologize. I've only listened to this one and a half times, and I was messaging back and forth with my friend Ryan. But that was their second album. Uh, oh, no, no. This was the... Uh, Can't Make This Love Go Away is the one where he sounds so much like Phil Collins. On this album, oh, my God. If you're not familiar with the song Air Dance, it reminds me of Peter Gabriel era Genesis, and that is fantastic, but without sounding like a complete ripoff. Although, at this point, uh, he was wearing his uh, influences on his sleeve, kind of. Maybe not. There'll be a bunch of Kevin Gilbert fans that have listened to him for years that <clears throat> will probably call me out on that but giraffe again just cardboard sleeve great sound on these by the way uh, I have yet to watch this but this is a DVD of um, them playing it doesn't what does it say let me check <clears throat> Yeah, I don't, I don't know what the year is, but it also comes with this booklet that has essays by each member of the band. Of course, I'm not sure which guy this guy is, but he looks a lot like um, Brandon from 90210, but with a beard. I apologize if you're watching this and... <laughs> so each of them is talking about the band. But I figure this is a something that people might want to see just to see what comes in all of this stuff and how it is packaged and what information it has. And there you go. So that is the giraffe box set. <clears throat> the toy matinee um, live at the Roxy. This 
oh my god this sounds like a studio album they their harmonies and vocal melody and their performance of the vocals are absolutely superb it is fantastic i was if somebody played this for me i would think it was a studio album it is that that good um i love this cover it is fantastic all those toys going to see the show i'm hoping this is uh let me kind of Sorry about that. I just want to make sure the, the shot is good. Um, <clears throat> and that is how the artwork looks. Uh, this is with Kevin Gilbert, Mark Bo Bo Bonilla, Anastasio Panos, Spencer Campbell, uh, Cheryl Crow, and Tim Pierce. So this was before Cheryl Crow's career got uh, launched in, this was May of 1991, which is the year I graduated, which is pretty crazy. It's been that long, but they play a lot of the toy mat. They play all of the toy matinee, um, or a lot of the toy matinee album and they do funeral for a friend. Um, which is an Elton John song. There's a little essay on here that Kevin wrote way back in 94. But this is fantastic. Uh, I have a copy of Toy Matinee. I don't listen to it all that much, or I don't listen to it all because it constantly skips and I have to find another copy. And the other version that I have is the 5.1 surround sound version. So. I'm not sitting at my couch listening to music most of the time when I'm I'm listening to music, but this is fantastic. Uh, I, I still need to get either that Toy Matinee CD buffed or another copy. Now we're going to get into the stuff that I have actually not listened to. Um, this is the Toy Matinee Rehearsals, and this comes in a sleeve like that. And that's pretty much the same uh, lineup as on the live one. Um, almost, there, there is some repeating of the live liner notes, but a little longer. Um, I have listened to little parts of this samples while I was thinking about getting it. I ended up just getting everything on the uh, Pop Plus One website. And the funny thing is, I am not a fan of cover songs. I'm, I've never been a f big fan of cover songs. Recently, a video got put up um, I'm not sure by who I've seen him post on the Kevin Gilbert Toy Matinee um, Facebook page and maybe one of the other Facebook groups. What they did is uh, took footage and I think used the sound from this recording and synced it up to the video that they had and this, this uh, sounds amazing. Uh, <clears throat> if you're not familiar with uh, Nick De Virgi Virgilio, I, I've never been able to pronounce his name, uh, last name properly. Uh, this, I believe, was where they started working together quite a lot. And this is actually my least f favorite Peter Gabriel era Genesis album, The Lamb Lies Down on Broadway, but it's fantastic. I've listened to a majority of it, and they also do um, the musical box by Genesis, and I'm actually really glad that I picked this one up. This was the one that I almost did not get, 
and then I would have just been irritated because then I would have to pay for shipping to get it. So I'm glad I pretty much blew like $180. <laughs> I had, oh, let me put this down a little bit. I had purchased this um, probably last summer at some point. I've only listened to it a couple times. Um, I, I listened to it those times and then put it on my shelf and thought recently, why am I uh, not going back to this? And then I started listening to all of uh, the samples for all of these other ones. Um, I'm just dumb, apparently. So I'll just go through what this version of Thud is. It is the three disc one and it does have all the lyrics. Goodness gracious is such a great song. And you know, I'm gonna mention this. He was a handsome dude. Uh, and he had super long hair that made him look awkward in the uh, 80s and stuff. And then he went for this look and I'm like, man, you know, in the 80s we all thought long hair was super cool and stuff and that was awesome. But, <clears throat> you know, sometimes some people just look way better with, with short hair. That's right. I just started talking about his looks. Um, so what what to say about this? Um, it is a fantastic album. Uh, I'm listening to everything in chronological order now. So I have to wait to get to this again. Uh, but one, two... three CDs. I believe it... Nope, it does not. Where is the track listing again? Sorry. There we go. Sorry. Um, so you get the regular uh, Thud album, and then a lot of demos, and uh, a lot of other alternate or demo stuff on here. Sorry for all the people who know this front to back. I'm just basically showing people what they would get if they ordered. And this is high quality, super thick booklet. It is fantastic. It's kind of textured. So that is Kevin Gilbert's Thud. This is probably... Um, one of my worst unboxings because I don't know exactly what to say. Let me uh, bring this back up here. Uh, this, I, I thought, wow, this is really weird packaging for a, uh, for a CD and DVD combo. And then I realized that if you just turn it like this, then it pretty much is your typical Digipack CD DVD. <laughs> So this is where he uh, toured for the Thud album. This is live at the Troubadour. That is the song listing. All righty. <clears throat> and these were curious because I didn't know what they were going to end up being like. Um, let me see if I can switch. There we go. That might be better lighting or not a big, uh, lamp going on in the background. Um, so I didn't know what I was going to get when I purchased these. I thought they were going to be like that NRG, 
uh, thing where it was just like a slip case. And these actually do have quite a nice uh, layout with um, a nice essay on the stuff that is on here. I've yet to read this, but this is a lot of various stuff from various times, uh, I believe. Um, this is where I'm really getting into the I don't know what is on everything. Again, this is just showing you kind of what you get. That was nuts. This is bolts. Wow, this lighting is even more horrible. I don't know why I moved it, but here I'll just flip things up here. And then another essay. I'm, I'm hoping a different essay, but... And then last but not least is the t shaming of the true, which um, I believe this is like the, I don't know, fifth version of this. Um, I like that it comes with that plastic bag. Uh, it opens up like that. You have the, the CD just pulls out on the side song titles, but this is a substantial booklet. It is fantastic. Has <clears throat> all the lyrics, a lot of um, illustrations, and I know there's a big ginormous version of this also, but that thing is way out of print and way too expensive on the secondhand market. What I am missing in this whole um, discography in a physical format is the Caviar CD. Um, I hope to get it, but um, I'm not sure if they're going to reprint it. I hope they do one more reprint before... Uh, everything goes to streaming, but you never know. Um, I'm not sure how much it costs to do all this fun stuff, but so that is the, that is the worst. Let's bring it over here. No, it's just not gonna, it's not gonna ever be good <laughs> with that stupid light above me. So that is the Kevin Gilbert uh discography i don't know if everything is gonna fit on here but all right hopefully you enjoyed this leave your comments um or don't um i'm sure there's gonna be quite a few people telling me what you didn't talk about this and that and Basically, all this was for is to show people what you get when you order. And if you've never heard Kevin Gilbert, give him a shot. Try some of the NRG stuff. Try Thud. Uh, Toy Matinee is absolutely fantastic. Um, and thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good night.